Hello, in a previous video we made this website, but I said I would make another video to explain just a few extra tips. So we're using a block theme, and the way you know that you're using a block theme is by looking in your admin bar for edit site, or if you're in the dashboard, look for appearance, editor. Now to add a drop down link, we need to select one of the links in the nav bar and then we need to click this add submenu button we can then search for a link to add as a drop down link if we want to remove that drop down link we need to click these three dots remove custom link but then we need to get rid of this little icon so make sure that link is selected click the drop down submenu icon again click custom link and now that icon has disappeared now to change the nav bar in specific pages you need to change the template that that page uses so if we view a page or click save View a page. Now there's different ways to edit templates. When you're viewing a page, click Edit Page. Then in the WordPress Settings sidebar with this cogwheel icon, look for Page Template. And you can edit the template that that page is using or you can make a new template but if you edit the template it will affect all of the pages that that template uses and sometimes it can be a lot of pages so be careful now there's another way to edit templates if we click the big W let's go to appearance editor and click the big W again and we can see templates and template parts. So if we go to templates, all of these templates we can edit. So suppose we wanted a different nav bar, but only on single posts. We could edit that template. Now if we change this nav bar now, it will affect all single posts. So we select the navigation block. We could change the menu here, select a different menu or create a new menu. And when we edit that template, which is a single post template, it would affect all single posts. When you edit templates, be careful because these templates use the same header. So if we look at this got the header template part there look at another template now this has got a different header template part This template is using the header template part. But if you change the links in the header template part, those links will change in all of the templates that use the header template part. This is the header template part. So be careful. When you change the links in any template, Think carefully about the header and if it will affect any other template. This single post template, we, we customized this earlier and it doesn't have the header template part. It's got a group at the top there. So be careful when you're changing the links. Think, will changing this navigation bar affect any other page? It takes a while to figure it all out. 
but it's worth it's worth sticking with it and working it out. The important point is that most of the templates use the header template part. So be careful when you change the links in a template, you need to remember that it might affect a lot of other pages. You can also customize these templates. So supposing this is the post content area and below that, click insert after. We could then insert a block. We scroll down. These theme blocks are useful. We could insert a previous and next post links. So we'll insert previous post. And then we'll add another one. Insert after. We'll add the next post. It's a theme block. next post and if we save that and we view a post we've added the previous button and the next button you could put these two in a columns block side by side so they would sit one at the left side of the screen and one at the right side of the screen. But the point is you can make all kinds of changes if we go back to edit site. You can make all kinds of changes to the page template if you want to. Now while you're in the post editor, you'll see this, styles. And if you edit a block here, suppose you change the look of the button block, this would affect all buttons. So you could change the background color of a button. You might want it to be red or blue. But if you change the color of buttons here, it will affect all buttons throughout the site. If you've edited a button on an individual page, that individual edit you made on the individual page will override these settings. But if you wanted to change the color of the buttons or all kinds of different blocks, you can do. All these blocks to choose from and these are site-wide settings. Now if you want to know more about styles, when you're in the site editor, so if you click this three dots, and click help, that takes you to a web page that tells you all about the site editor and there's links to other information. So you want to know about styles, click the styles link and it tells you how to use the styles. And when you're using the block inserter, there's a certain type of block called theme blocks. And these are what are called dynamic blocks. So things like the post date, the post excerpt, the post title, or the query loop, you can make your own grids of posts, things like that. You can do all kinds of different things with theme blocks. Now the footer we used when we built this website has got these social media icons and we can add more social media icons using the template part editor. So we click edit site, click the big W, template parts, and we want the footer. So if we select one of these social media icons, click this, And we see this little plus icon. So click plus and we could search for a different type. I want to put a YouTube button there. We can add a link to add an 
another button so I'll click this social icons icon again click and I could add a WordPress icon or if you know the icon you want to look for you can search for it then just add your link don't forget to click save then we'll go back to our page new icons have been added now there's all kinds of things you can do with these full site editing themes or block themes but I hope this has given you a better idea just just to get you started so that you can uh, learn more and it is it is a big learning curve is learning how the full site editing block themes work but they are really good and it's the future of WordPress. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching and bye for now.